want to do it. I can't do it. No, it's too much. This is too friggin' much. I... <laughs> it's such a load of crap. I honestly can't believe it exists. <laughs> let's, just, let's just get it over with. Oh dear God, help me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am just flabbergasted. I can't believe that something this horrible could be put out on a recent console like the Wii. In fact, this game was made for all three of the new generation consoles. And it still sucks on all three of them. It's just astronomically bad. And I mean that in every sense of the word. They obviously were not thinking at all when they made this game. It makes no sense. It's broken beyond belief, and it's just, it's, it's horrible. And I don't want to play it, I don't want to talk about it, I don't want to look at it. However, this review has already begun, so we might as well finish it, right? Oh god, it's not worth it. Let's just take a step back and look at every single way this game completely and utterly fails. Let's start off with the story, shall we? It is crap. There is actually no story to speak of unless you read the instruction manual or look it up online. You are given almost no information through these cutscenes. Heck, the first time I played through this, not until the very end did I have any idea what was going on. They give you a vague idea of what's going on through the first one or two cutscenes, and the last cutscene has one of the most underwhelming endings ever. But for the most part, you are just left wondering, why should I care? What are they doing? What is the point of all of this? Anyway, for those of you who actually care about the story, it centers around the Looney Tunes ancestors. An evil scientist named Dr. Frankenbean has, well, you know, he's built a time machine to go back in time and erase the Looney Tunes from history because they're the only ones who could stop him from taking over the world, so he's going to destroy their ancestors so they don't exist in the present so he can take over the world. Well, it's a pretty ingenious plot as far as cartoons go, I suppose. But, wait a minute. Dr. Frankenbean? Who the heck is Dr. Frankenbean? Let's find out, shall we? Well, folks, it's just as I suspected. There is no mention of a Dr. Frankenbean anywhere in classic Looney Tunes shorts, or even in the newer movies. So, I'll bite. Tell us, who is this mysterious Dr. Frankenbean who has been trying to destroy the Looney Tunes? WHAT?! Out of all the Looney Tune villains that you could have chose, you chose one who was initially nameless and appeared in one, I repeat one, skit, one single short. Water, water, every hair. He was the token mad scientist. Why they didn't go with a Peter Lorre instead of him, I, I don't know. This just boggles my mind. There were plenty of others you could have chosen from. Nasty Canasta, for one. You could have taken one of the ones that you put in the game and made them the villain. I mean, Marvin the Martian had been a villain before. Why didn't you use him? Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy. <sighs> Let's move on, shall we? Getting on to gameplay, it seems like the developers of this game were trying to make it as frustrating as possible. You have almost no control over the camera, and it just pans wherever it wants to, making it almost impossible to tell where you've been and where you're going. In actual combat, you can't even tell if you're hitting an enemy or if the enemy is hitting you, because they almost never get stunned unless you hit them enough, and the only way to tell if they're stunned is if they have stars above their heads. 
Apart from that, there are also weapons in the game, and they are preferable to your melee attacks, but even then, the lock-on feature barely works, and it's almost impossible to hit anything unless you're at point-blank range anyway, so you're better off just using your melee weapon once you've leveled it up. It makes absolutely no sense. The controls are probably the worst part about this whole game. Nothing feels responsive, the controls feel very stiff, and most of the time when you try to perform a move whenever you need to, it just works whenever it feels like it. Here's a prime example. There's a special move in this game that you have to perform to get across most of the jumps, called, well, a triple jump. You do a double jump by hitting A twice, and then you have to twist the Wii Remote about a quarter turn counterclockwise, or clockwise if you prefer, to do some sort of spin move in midair. This also happens to be the easiest way to stun and defeat enemies. But I could only get it to work about 20% of the time. I'm not joking. Sometimes I'd get lucky, but most of the time I'd just end up falling down a spiked pit or a bottomless pit to my death. See right there, that was pretty lucky. Another frustrating aspect is the fact that while you can choose to play as over eight different Looney Tune characters, they're all pretty much the same. They all have the same basic attacks, the same attack power, the same speed, the same jumping height. The only differences in them are their attack animations and the melee weapon that they use. And again, those melee weapons make absolutely no difference. They all do the same amount of damage and they all level up the same. There is absolutely no difference between, say, Bugs Bunny and Marvin the Martian in this game, which is complete bullcrap! Oh, and if you thought you'd see 